Hello, my wonderful friend. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to totally rock being a short guy. I put out a video a little while ago about what you need to know if you're a short guy, and I had so much positive feedback on this one that I decided to do another one. So if you're a short guy and you want to know how to be totally hot and totally rock it, be sure to keep watching. Thank you so much for watching. Melanie here from coachmelanie.com. And as I mentioned, I'm going to tell you how to totally rock it as a short guy and how to be super, super hot. Before we get to that though, I want to mention that it, I have a special gift for you at the end of this video. So be sure to watch to the end so you know what it is. And if you're a big fan of bloopers, then you are definitely going to want to watch to the end. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, now is a fabulous time. Just subscribe and ring that notification bell because I don't want you to miss any of the incredible videos about women and dating and relationships that I have coming. Now, as I said earlier, I released a video a few days ago on what you need to know if you're a short guy. And if you haven't seen it yet, I highly encourage you to. I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out. But basically in this video, I mentioned that I have a lot of guys message me and they're nervous that because they're short, no girl is ever going to like them. And in that video, I explain that, um, there are a lot of girls who are totally okay if guys are short. Um, some of the most attractive men I have ever known have been short. So the good news is if you are worried that uh, you may not ever be able to be attractive because you're short, that is actually in fact not true. So you do not have to worry about that. With this in mind, I've put together seven tips for you, seven ways you can totally rock being short and be completely and totally hot and attractive and make girls like swoon. Interestingly enough, um, the tips and tricks I'm going to tell you apply if you're short or if you're not short. The truth is the attraction secrets are the same. Um, however, I've picked out seven in particular that I think will help you really just rock it. So let's get started. Tip number one is to remember to stand up straight and keep your shoulders back. Again, this is just it's always attractive when we have good posture. Um, it helps you appear to your full height. It helps her see the full width and breadth of your shoulders and really just helps you come across as confident and strong and self-assured. And that's very, very attractive to women. It comes across as very masculine and that's something that she is drawn to. Sometimes um, when a guy feels short, he tends to shrink more and, and, and slouch more, um, which is totally normal, but don't let that hold you back. Just stand up, like rock what you got, dude, because the truth is you're an amazing guy and you're an attractive guy and you don't need to hide it. Just let who you are shine forth and just stand up straight. Tip number two is make sure you're getting clothes that fit. Now, fun fact for you, I am actually short. <laughs> And so this one really resonates with me. Um, but interestingly enough, uh, men's fashion is actually one of my favorite topics to talk about. I think it's really interesting to research. Um, and, and obviously, you know, as a girl, I think guys look very attractive when they're dressed nice. So it's a very fun topic for me to research. And one thing that helps um, short girls and short guys is to make sure our clothes fit. I don't know if you're like me, but it can be incredibly hard to find pants that are not too long. And if we wear clothes that um, are too long for us, we tend to, it, it exaggerates our height and makes us look even shorter than we are and kind of stubby and like a little kid. I am speaking from experience because I have, you know, been through this frequently. My sister's even shorter than I am and she has this problem all the time. So it's very, very important to know the proper and appropriate fit. When you do that, it's literally night and day. The difference between ill-fitting clothes and clothes that really fit you are the difference between looking like a little boy and looking like a man who is like super, super hot. I don't have time to get into um, the details about knowing the right fit for you. Um, that is something I do cover in how to find and attract your dream girl, my membership area. So if you're interested in learning more about that, I'll put a link down below. Number three is to always lead with your strength. Now, let me explain this a little bit. 
I've mentioned that I have guys come to me saying, well, I'm just the short guy. No one's ever going to like me. And one of the first things I really want to say, well, first, I just want to give him a hug and like, dude, it's okay. Seriously, it's not a big, as big a deal as you feel like it is. That's the first thing I want to do. The second thing is never lead with what you feel is a weakness. Now, the truth is it is not a weakness, but if you feel like it's a weakness and that's how you define yourself, you're never going to feel attractive. You're never going to feel confident. For instance, well, I'm just the short guy, or I'm just the fat guy, or I'm just the stupid guy. If you always lead with what you feel self-conscious about, you're not going to feel good. Instead, lead with your strengths because I guarantee you have them. Sometimes it takes us a second to be able to figure out what our strengths are, but I guarantee you have them. So lead with, I am the smart guy, or I'm the guy who makes everyone feel good, or I have amazing eyes or a nice smile or whatever it is. Maybe you're really physically fit. Maybe you're um, very talented. Well, obviously you're very talented because everybody's very talented. Maybe focus on a specific talent or skill. Whatever it is, you have incredible traits. So stop defining yourself as the short guy. Start defining yourself as something much more positive and lead with that. Number four is confidence and confident body language. I have done videos on this in the past, guys. Confident body language in a man is very attractive and it comes across as very masculine. Anytime um, we present ourselves in a confident way, it's just, it's attractive. It just is. So practicing that masculine body language is going to be very appealing to her. And fun fact about body language is as you practice um, body language that's confident and masculine, you will feel more confident and masculine, which will help you feel and become more and more attractive. Number five is to pursue your passions. What do you love doing? What just makes you happy? Pursue that and focus on that and think about that. Now, if you saw the video I just put out, what you need to know if you're a short guy, in it, you know that in it I mentioned that Hunter Hayes was just featured in People Magazine as Sexiest Man Alive 2019. And um, as I mentioned, I was not surprised because <laughs> he's... He's, he's very attractive. <laughs> now, I also mentioned that one of the things that makes him so attractive is the fact that he has passions and he pursues them. The truth is he doesn't spend that much time thinking about his height. He just doesn't. He puts so much energy into creating the life he wants and pursuing what he is passionate about that he doesn't really have that much time to focus on the fact that he's short. David Archuleta is another example I presented in that video. He does the exact same thing. And the truth is both of these guys are heartthrobs. Pursuing our passions and focusing on something outside of ourselves is actually one of the most underappreciated attraction secrets. People are more interesting and more fun to be around and just all around more attractive when they are focusing on what makes them happy and adding to the world. Number six is confidence. This one kind of goes hand in hand with body language. When we kind of like shrink because we're like self-conscious about something, we're just not really that attractive, like at all. If instead you hold yourself confidently and, and stand up straight and you're just confident in who you are, that is very attractive. People love confident people. We feel better when we're around confident people. And a confident man is more masculine to a woman. She's very, very drawn to that. So don't like shrink and, sh and shrivel up. Just own it, dude. You're amazing and you're fabulous and you don't need to hide. Number seven is to just be you. The truth is you want her to fall in love with you and that's who she wants to fall in love with, not your height. The truth is you want her to fall in love with you. This isn't about height at all. So just be you because the truth is you are enough. If you are just doing your best to be a good person and to constantly be improving, that's what we should all be doing. So as long as you're just trying to be the best you possible, then you're more than enough. God made you. God doesn't make trash. You are incredible. And there's a girl out there who is hoping and praying to meet you. So stop worrying about your height. As I've mentioned, there are so many guys who are short. 
who are incredibly attractive. So don't let that define you. You are amazing as you are. And as you follow these tips, you can totally, totally rock it, whether you are short or not. Now, that was our seven tips. However, I do have a bonus for you on my blog. So if you're watching on YouTube, just scroll down and I will have a link down there for you to check out the bonus one. Or if you're watching this on my blog, just scroll down and you'll see it. This one is a really, really important attraction secret. So it's one you're not going to want to miss. Basically to sum it up, guys, the, the secret to being attractive when you are short is the same as being attractive when you're not short. As long as you are applying the attraction secrets, you will be an attractive person. It doesn't have to be hard. As a matter of fact, you already have so much about you that is attractive. And by following these tips, all you're doing is really just letting it shine. Thank you so much again for watching. As I mentioned, I have a special gift I want to give you. It is 17 traits Christian women want most in a man. You're not going to want to miss it. All you have to do is click on the link below. It will ask for your name and your email. As soon as you enter that, I will send it your way. If you learned something new, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Be sure you're also following along on social media. I share some awesome stuff over there that I know you you are not going to want to miss. Random question of the day is, what is the funniest slash most awkward thing that happens to you because you are short? I will put mine in the comments below. And as always, if you have any questions or comments or just suggestions for future videos you would like to see, be sure to leave those in the comments as well. Thank you so much again, my amazing friend, and have an amazing day. All right, doing good, doing so good. Good job, me. <laughs> but basically in this video, I explained um, w w the j stuff. <laughs> I don't have time to get into, uh, pr uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> I don't, mm -mm, nope. <laughs> Maybe focus on a specific uh, thing. <laughs> I, I get off on tangents and the video gets too long, so I'm not, going to talk about that. <laughs> Stay on target.